Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer, guys, and the label starts over here, and we got the Skull, which I'm a big fan of, guys, y'all know that. And it wraps all the way around, looks like it's got some barley coming out of his hair. And then it's got the name over here, Old Mad Joy. And guys, this is a bourbon barrel aged Baltic Porter, not a stout. It's 10% on the label here. Uh, when I was doing the research before we got started, and, and on top of that, it says right here, canned 11-23-2022. So, and I read everything on there, and I went to look for it, and they've made several different versions of this beer. And I'm not sure uh, a lot of people realize that and trying to figure out which one that you have since it's not written on the label anywhere. Uh, but then uh, after looking and looking at the pictures and trying to figure out when you look underneath the date it has pecan and then it has some kind of time stamp or code of 000473 but this tells me it's the, the pecan version. So. What we have is a 2022 barrel aged Old Mad Joy Pecan Pie Dash Heaven Hill. And barrel, uh, barrel Advocate, Barrel Advocate, <laughs> Beer Advocate, Barrel Advocate. That's what I thought that'd be a sight, wouldn't it? Yeah, barrel aged beers. Uh, has it at 10%. When I go over to Untapped and I went through all the ones I have and I brought up the 2022 Pecan Pie Barrel Aged. They have it at 11%. And then they have the pictures with the glass and the can under here. And the pictures on the can even says 10%. So I don't know who did the editing there, but it's 10%, not 11%. Even on the pictures here, it's 10%, just like it is on my can. So uh, Somebody punched the wrong number, and 0 and 1 is a lot. They're not side each other, so somebody might have been smoking something when they edited that, but it's not 11% on the 2022. All right, guys, Pecan Barrel Aids, Old Mad Joey, aged for 10 months in Heaven Hill Barrels with maple, vanilla, and pecans. The release date was 11-25 of 2022. And I told you guys, 11-23 was what was put in the can. So it was released two days later uh, from the time it was put in this can. So, and the beers that Caleb has sent me here look to be very tasty beers so far. They have been. Uh, we had one that was a, a dud. It got beat up and lost its, uh, lost its fizz. It was flat. Uh, but, and a lot of the cans still have dents and dings where they were beat up. So uh, it is what it is when you're shipping beers. You just try to cushion that gorilla mentality that they have uh, and try to ensure. Because back in the old days, before cans, when we were shipping bottles back and forth, a lot of them did not survive. Uh, you had to really, really, really wrap those things up. I mean, things this big around with one bottle inside of it and still you, it wasn't sure it was going to make it. But anyway, now they've gone to cans. They're a little more forgiving, but not always. When they're drop kicking and running over them with forklifts, it's kind of hard to survive that. Anyway, uh, this looks like a pricey beer to me, guys. Any barrel age beer is not cheap beer to buy. Ten months in the barrel, it takes up time, space, costs more. You pay more for it. So, Caleb, thanks a bunch for sending me some of very, very tasty beers. Uh, right up my alley, too, all but that six and a half percent have been eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. I mean, big boy beers uh, for sure. So, I like it.
very much appreciated, Cable. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get on with this one. We got the ABB, we got the day, we got kind of figured out which one we have. So let's see if it's got any carbonation. Oh, yes. And stouts usually don't have a, a huge amount anyway. That is motor oil coming out, guys. Oh, yeah. Pitch black. That's when, I mean, when you're drinking a 10%. And it's barrel aged and it comes out like used motor oil like that. You're probably not going to get a big head unless you're really, really poor and aggressive. And then even then sometimes. Swirly swirl. I might be able to get it all in here. Since it ain't pouring any head. Alrighty. Full glass. That's what you want when you whip out those dollar bills and you buy a beer. Yeah, pour me a, a beer that looks like that. I'll give you I'll give you ten dollars, maybe even fifteen for a barrel age. Uh, if it's good, world class. Guys, that's pitch black. Coming out, no light, zero light, zero head. Oh, but it's got a hundred percent taste. To the nose we go. Yes. Oh, that smells awesome. Hints of bourbon, molasses, maple, vanilla, chocolate, caramel, toffee. Even some pecans. That smells awesome, guys. I mean, zero head. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Caleb. Thank you. I really appreciate it what you sent me sir thanks ooh that's got a twang to it a little bit of coconut That's rather boozy though. Man, I've drank 15 percenters and wasn't quite that boozy. It is, it, it's got a bike down. So I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's tasty. I like it. Couldn't drink it every night, that's for sure. But it's tasty. It's tasty. And like I said, we got it all in there. I'm going to go sip on this and let it come up to room temperature. And it's, it may be a little bit better then. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Well over an hour drinking this one. This one's a little heavy on the boozy side. Uh, uh, this drinks like an 18 or percent or bigger. A uh, little too boozy for a 10%. I realize it's barrel age, but boy, I tell you what. Uh, it tastes like it's way bigger than 10%. So... Uh, I don't know if they left it in the barrels too long to have that heavy of a booziness and not increase the alcohol content more, uh, but it is just a little heavy for this guy in the booziness, and the other half thought the same thing. She thought it was way too boozy. She didn't even want a second sip of it. Uh, as soon as she smelt it, she went. And it did have that. I mean, it's a little too boozy, so they might want to cut back on how long it's in the barrel. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that absolutely love this beer, but to me, uh, heavy boozy. And other than that, it's very nice, very, very nice. Final choke. The booziness is covering up so much of the the rest of the beer that is almost off-putting. Uh, uh, this should be a nine or a ten beer, guys, uh, but it's not. It's not. It's 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 a little heavy on the booziness. Other than that, it's pretty good. So. Instead of getting the 9 or the 10, it's going to get the 8.90 from me on this one, guys. Uh, 
over to Beer Advocate, no ratings, not enough people, and only 29 over on Untapped. So, uh, not a lot of comments on this one so far, but it does have a 4.27, which is also in their A minus range. So, upper end, I'm a little lower than what the numbers that they are showing. So, I just think it's a little heavy on the business. Other than that, it's a very tasty beer. Now, if you're used to drinking, big heavy beers, thick beers, and this is a port and not a stout, but it tastes like a stout to me guys, uh, it does. Uh, it has the same body to me, the same appearance and everything else. So, if you've had the Barrel Age Old Mad Joy, the 2022 Pecan Edition, which I think this one is, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.